Hi, and welcome back to Time For You. Actually, it's also time for us. Yeah. Shelia and myself, we just love it. We we are friends. We we are very close, but we don't see each other that often. I mean, in real life, we will see each other in June. Come yeah. to the Three Principal Conference with in us. In London, London, yes. 29th of June to yes. the 2nd of July in London, England. Yeah, we will be there. So maybe we will meet with you. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have lunch and coffee and stuff with, with you because we have to hang out together. So <laughs> don't be... <laughs> don't get mad. Please don't get mad at us because we haven't seen each other for a long time. Very true. So time for you, time for us, another episode. And today we, we really want to speak about being of service. And um, I... I was on a search like for a, a year, probably after Shelly and myself did break up. We did break up in our <laughs> business, but actually um, we never really broke up. <laughs> so, no, and to no. me, it's just temporary. I'm I just know. waiting for you to come back, Leah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's like, la, 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 la. I have, I have patience. <laughs> I can wait till I'm at least 80. And if you're not back by then, I'm going to get mad or something. <laughs> okay. So... We will see, but actually we do a lot of stuff together. And, but when we we broke up, I was on a search, like, how can I teach the, sorry, my lens, lenses Your eye fall out. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> I just had to, to search for my, my eye, my, my lens. <laughs> and um, on this search, I was looking for how can I teach or help the coaches that we trained, we train coaches in mm -hmm. transformative coaching to find clients, but I like in a simple, easy way, because out there, there is a lot of stuff and, and great stuff as well, and really not so great stuff as well, too. But you need a lot of skills like marketing and and social media or online selling or selling. And I, I just knew in my guts there has to be another way. And I have to be honest, I did read all the books of Steve Chandler, but I didn't read his coaching books. I don't know why I read Time Warrior, Creative being all all his in the now books <laughs> it somehow didn't come across his like enrollment and and being of service and how to get clients book and so what happened is that i i had a a, a coach crush last spring and i i stumbled a, upon isla coats and I'm coaching teenagers as well, so she's a extremely skilled coach in the youth department as well. And I I read her book, and I just knew that's my coach, my next coach. And she opened up a, a group coaching a, around client creation, and I was in. And we had to mail her, and so. I told her what I'm doing and how I do it. And, and she was kind of like, yeah, <laughs> you already do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. and it was really like this, ah, like the Homer Simpson aha uh -huh, moment of that's exactly what I did, like all the time. For myself, I did it, and even with Shelia, although Shelia is extremely skilled in all the marketing and online um, things, I did it as well mm. there. And mm. what what did I do that I didn't realize that I do? I I meet people. I I listen to people. I re write to people i i i'm building an a, an 
a relation. Like I'm really there for them and from a place of can I help? And I never knew. And even when I think back at the really beginning, it was exactly the same. I opened up like three times a week a, a, a lunch coaching for free. I invited the 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 teachers like come just in and have coaching. I I had like a coaching coffee coaching and coffee like speed coaching in a in a movie theater just to to help to to build relationships and being deeply of service and i remember one of our clients Celia, mm -hmm. how i met she came for her her teenager and or she did ask me something because a friend of her their teenagers had coaching with me and I just heard something in her mail and I did ask her if I, I could send her some stuff. And she had like severe pain and and OCD and depression going on. And I know, I remember I was in the middle of a coach training and, and I wrote like a two-page mail with all the links for Bill Petit and the book and and I gave her access to to my book and so really going in there and and with an open heart with an open mind and and looking around is there anything that could be helpful mm -hmm. and then I did invite the people for the conversations and even in this space um like as well coming from a place of love and help and neutrality in a way even though i work as a coach and i i that's my income and and how i feed my family it's always like still am i able to help you or do I know something that could help? And from there, the people wanted to work with me or wanted to or felt the transformation or saw something for them. And they didn't have to buy an idea or buy an, a product or buy something that they they were not sure if that really could help. They They felt it. They knew it. They already had transformations in their lives and so I built my practice and when we when we split Shelia myself and I was on the search the funny thing was I did exactly the same and I, half a year later I, I had the practice again yeah and I didn't realize it in a way isn't that interesting isn't that interesting how we can have such a um an unconscious competency, um, such a blind spot also to not even seeing what we're doing totally. in life or business. Yeah, that's work. Yeah. yeah. And actually, then I, I read all the books of Steve Chandler and Isla, and I, I enrolled in the course, and that's exactly what they do. <laughs> and yeah. they call, there is a system, and it's it's learn, learnable. It's Learn learnable. Yeah, it's, it's learnable. learnable. Mm -hmm. And Shelia didn't believe me at the beginning. Maybe you can <laughs> well, talk yeah. about should it. I, <laughs> yes. Should I talk about that? Yes. Yeah. Do. So, you know, I come from a totally different direction than Leah, right? So I spent 15 years in advertising and my whole first, first 15 years of my career was strategic marketing. And for me, it was all about the marketing and from the marketing, getting to the sales conversations. And when I first went out, Leah, and was trying to figure out what to do to, to build my practice, like I had no freaking clue. It was, um, it was something I thought I knew how to do, um, marketing and sales, because I did it for, you know, big brands uh, for 15 years, really successfully with teams, obviously not I by know. myself. Mm -hmm. But I had no idea how to do it for myself. So I ended up 
investing a lot of money in the beginning of building my coaching practice and hiring coaches and mentors who help other coaches and mentors to, to build a business. And what I learned that worked really well for me for years was more the route that we still see a lot today, which is, you know, creating some content that's of value. In my case, back, you know, when I started in 2009, 2010, it was all about holding webinars, um, showing what you can do. And in a way, you were also mm -hmm being of service because you, were, you mm -hmm. were giving the webinars for free. Um, you were creating or you were showing, you were putting your magic, what you do on display. Um, people were getting value out of it, hopefully finding some transformation in it for themselves. So it kind of is a similar approach. Mm -hmm. And I, the way I built my practice over the first couple of years to a multi six figure practice was by giving a lot of my time to large groups and webinars. Like I would have yeah. up to a thousand people on board. Right. But then um, they would get to know, like, and trust me through all the things that I was teaching and giving away. It was like much more that teaching and preaching kind mm -hmm. of, kind mm -hmm. of way. And then I would sort of mention along the way uh, while I was teaching, um, I would tell stories about my clients or I would prime the fact that there's a, you know, a get acquainted call that you can come to. And then what would happen when people would come on board, there was like this very specific process of finding out where people were and uh, what they wanted to achieve and, you know, enrolling them then in uh, a high-end coaching package. And the difference is like all the emphasis that my mentors were putting is like how short of a time can you spend on those calls, right? So they were teaching us like 60 minutes is far too long. You know, you've got to get that done in 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And later on, even Leah, I had an enrollment coach do those conversations for me because they were taking up, you know, so much of my, my time. And so when Leah and I got together and I, you know, <laughs> um, I would watch her, you know, and I, you know, it's like, not like she was that sneaky. She, when she, when we were doing business together for two and a half years and I would see her spending hours on end, like talking with people, um, um, on the phone, coaching them for free, or I would see her, you know, WhatsApping with them on weekends or in the nighttime in bed sometimes that they would write to her and like writing them novel answers, you know, like the, the length of a, of a book novel or whatever. And I'd be like, Leah, what are you doing? Like, you, <laughs> like you, <laughs> you gotta stop that. You know, like I was like totally against her, you know, spending so much of her time, uh, for free. And, and later on, you know, when, when you did go your separate way, I mean, I knew that it was working for you, like a, in a way, but always in the back of my mind, I was thinking she can do this like so much more efficiently. This is like not necessary. And, um, it wasn't until very recently, it was like, I don't know, Leah, when was it? Uh, it was like right before the Easter yes. break. Yes, yes. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Leah was holding some uh, calls where she's getting ready to launch. Uh, what, what program are you launching? Is it Coach Mind? Mm -hmm. Coaching yeah, Mind. Coach Mind. Coaching Mind. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Shelly, you got to come to these calls. You got to come to these calls. And I was like, okay, well, Leah wants me to come to these calls. Well, I, I like to hang out with Leah. So I'll just, I was just coming to hang out with you, Leah. I wasn't thinking there was going to be anything in there that was interesting for <laughs> I me. I know. She, that's where she was being sneaky. And um, it was so interesting. And so Leah was talking in the first call and she would just very simply talked about the way of service and what, what the benefits of it are. And I, for the first time, got an understanding uh, by being, I don't know, I think it was a 90 minute call. We were on there together, mm -hmm. Leah, with, with a group. I, for the first time, like a light bulb went on my head what the benefits could be of um, spending much more time slowing down the sales process, like um, the benefit of creating relationships, whether um, whether a sales comes out of that or not, or whether, you know, two years from now, someone books or recommends three people to come on board. And so 
you got me a little curious. And then um, I went out and got the book. Oh, it's here underneath my podcast microphone, The Prosperous Coach. If you're on the YouTube channel watching, you can see it's The Prosperous Coach mm -hmm. from Steve Chandler and Rich Lippman. And I started to change my process, but it kind of started with mine before I got mm -hmm. on. I know. I, you know That's I, why I invited you yeah. when, when you, I mean, I, you know me, I don't force you. I just yeah. saw how mind really point to Chelia in the direction. So you have to tell that too. Well, it, you know, it just was, I, I kind of intuitively started doing what Leah is talking about already before I came onto the call with Leah, because I started to feel like the way that I used to do sales conversation, even though they had like a really high conversion rate, like, you know, up, upwards of 80 or 90%, like I had it locked in basically, but it wasn't working for me like that anymore. It just wasn't working for me. It wasn't working for the clients. And I was getting kind of getting to the point where I was just feeling like kind of lost and confused. Like, why isn't this working anymore? Why, why don't I not want to do it? Why is it just leading to bad results? And I kind of got the ping from mine to just reach out to some people and spend some time with them. So it was like kind of already, mm. already taking yes. place. So, totally. so Leah and I were just talking before we jumped on the podcast about like the, the enormous benefits of doing things this way. Like we're talking about spending, you know, Steve Chandler recommends two hours with someone minimum on a, on a clarity call or on a, on a, he calls it a transformative conversation, but Leah, we, you know, you and I have been spending three or four hours sometimes with people over several weeks before we even feel a yes with inside yes. of ourselves. Yes. Right. And so do you want to talk about like some of the enormous benefits yeah. for both sides to taking that time and slowing down mm -hmm. that process? Totally. And, and stay with us, even when you're not a coach, because there is something magical in being of service, no matter yeah. what you do. If you're a teacher, a mother, a husband, a friend, a, a business owner, like there is something in this coming from a loving place and being of service um, without an agenda in a way. Yeah. Even though we need clients and we can be needy and we need money, of course, but I never need it from you. Yeah. Like it's just being with you and being of help and from this place. So what, what is the benefit? The benefit is we really get to know each other. So I, I, I really dive into your world and I get where you are and what's happening in your world. And with coaching, nobody knows what that really means. Yeah. You have to experience it, this room, this presence, this transformation that can happen. So when when I spend more time with someone, I I see is there a possibility that this person hears me and yeah, do I hear, hear the other person for real? Yeah. And I, I can see if there is something landing when I do it like two weeks later again yeah. and maybe two weeks later again. And if, if they already feel this being seen, being heard, this real transformation going starts for them, there is a trust and there is a willingness to put your time and money and resources into this vertrag, like this, this process, this, this process contract. together. Mm -hmm. And that that gives both sides like a really a, a confidence in a way. <clears throat> because for as a customer, you really can decide on what you know already and not what you think it can do for you or can't. What it might be. What or the, it what might the, be. What the person on the other end is telling you it could be or what's yes. happened for other clients, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And for myself as well. Yeah. So there are like two yeses and a very cool match. 
And we are not for everyone. Mm. And that's okay. And I've, I mean, I, like, last week I probably had, like, four conversations with potential new clients. And um, one already said yes, another one said no yesterday and the third one is on the process of yeah that could work and we will have another conversation for the real yes yeah and all of these conversations did lead to something it did lead to more confidence trust and a relationship that builds up over time yeah so it's always a yes for me it's never the nose or or just part of this whole process, but they're not nose against me or coaching or whatever. It's just not the right person, not the right time, not the right thing yeah. for the moment, probably. And it could lead, and even if it doesn't, um it could lead to something else and even if it doesn't i deepened my coaching and mm. got better to explore different people's world so it's always a win in it's a way it's always a win yeah and what what clients who who are immersing their, themselves in this kind of enrollment process say is what Shelia described, there you need a lot of skills. I mean, that are different skills than being a coach. Writing skills, marketing skills, online skills. Speaking That's, skills. Speaking skills. Teaching skills. Great skills. Shelia has them. Of course, she mm-hmm. will use them. She wrote one email and five people of her list did jump on my uh, webinars. That's mm-hmm. freaking amazing. And do whatever works as well. But with being of service, with creating relationships, that are skills that coaches already have. Mm. And in this process, you slow down. You so- slow down and you are of service. And these two things you can use in every situation in your life. Mm. Education being in relationship, having a business, slowing down, really going in deep into a conversation, listen what the other one needs, wants and and has to offer. It it just transforms every relationship, mm. personal and business wise. I'm absolutely sure of that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I can 100% agree with you, Leah. It's been, it's been like, for me, a transformative last, I don't know, eight or 10 weeks, um, every week speaking with four or five people and just showing up from that place of love and from curiosity. And, and like you said, from neutrality, like, where are they? Where could they use support? Where are they doing really well already with that, with or without me? Mm. Um, yesterday I had a conversation with someone who was someone on, who comes to our coaching clinic every, every month. She's the first person to pop into the room. Mm. Um, and she's the only one of us who has the animated hearts, uh, mm. <laughs> with her zoom. And, and she has such a good, uh, energy. And I just invited her just to get to know her and, I heard about her life. Um, she's a textile engineer and she has two teenage sons. And she told me how the three tr- uh, principles um, have changed her life and the life of her family, um, what that means to her. She was very articulate in like what she's seen so far. And, and it was just such a beautiful conversation. And there was no there was nothing involved and we went mm-hmm. our we went our separate ways, you know, and, and some other conversations are different. You invite someone in and you you really see right now they are struggling with mm-hmm. something in their lives and you can just say hey would you like some help with that um yes. do you want to talk about that maybe next week again um and it's such a soft um 
wonderful, heartfelt way of being. And, you know, what I think what you were pointing to just now is like, for all the people who aren't coaches, you, you sent me an audio, I think when I was in France last week with Sandra, uh, where Steve Chandler was talking about like how it applies to business. Yes. Um, Leah, do you want to like repeat what you heard in that? Like, and what made you mm. want to send that over to me? Yeah, it, it really was, it, it, um, it was about like being focused, he called it, but actually he was talking about slowing down as mm -hmm. well. And and being with someone and being focused on this person and really taking your time will save a lot of time. And it it applies to being a leader or a coach, but also as a parent or a, a, a spouse or a friend. If you really take the time to listen and l really hear what your kid wants to say or needs or what your lover wants to say or needs, it you slow down they slow down, you slow down, and mind kicks in mm. for both of you. Yeah. So it it saves time and struggles in every relationship. And when mind kicks in, we get creative. We have better solutions. We see clear. We even see there are examples in it like a leader, maybe there is a, a an um angestellter uh, an employee who's an employ having struggles yeah mm -hmm. an employee who has having str struggles and together you 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 see a creative solution or you see hey maybe that's just not for us anymore mm -hmm. and to 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 go it's it's also like a paradigm shift it's like the three principles are a paradigm yeah. shift it's another gateway into mind being of service for you and the other and the conversation because if you do he points out not to do like 10 things um very fast but one thing like this conversation really slow yeah um then you you see the doorways and that's what we see with our clients as well they start to see the doorways for an easier lighter uh, more fulfilled successful life yeah and it's always in being present and slowing down and really taking time and he has like examples of a ceo or a leader who who thinks i already spoke like a uh, hundred times a with this person times. for 15 minutes yeah but it <laughs> yeah. was like in between and looking at your phone and not being present and doing whatever out of da 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 and i i really can see his points with slowing down and taking two hours or an hour for this person you will resolve something quicker mm -hmm. than all these attempts to resolve quick yeah. And that's so, so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And you start to not do anything by on yourself anymore all the time because we, you're rushed or stressed or or whatever, because you, you see, oh, Shelia could do that better than I do. Mm, I'm going to ask her in a quiet moment or, you know, I need to call Hans because he knows how to build blah 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 and it saves times time and it it opens up a spaciousness yeah. like in every relationship in everything we do absolutely yeah that was really inspiring for me and you know I, I I've been thinking about this slowing down like quite a lot lately and I just also been noticing we can slow down everywhere like, I mean, if I'm sitting down to write an e-newsletter, like just not rushing myself to get it done in 30 minutes, but if I need two hours, I need two hours to write it. Um, if I want, 
if I'm talking to someone new um, and I don't know anything about them, I, I go to their website now and I'm like surfing around, seeing if they have any videos online. I never did that before, Leah. Never prepared for one get acquainted call before. And then mm. I just thought, you know, why not look into their world like mm -hmm. already in advance of them coming on board? And that just seems so indulgent. Like mm. I don't have time for that. Right. And I know just slowing everything down and saying, no, I do have time for that. That's like that. Uh, uh, no, I have an abundance of time yes. for, for this person before we talk and during the time we talk and after. And that really started to, to shift something for me, you know, trying to be mm. on that minimizing the time you spend mm with clients before, uh, during the relationship, right? Mm. It's a whole different way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And also <clears throat> for me, it spreads like in my everyday life, I'm, I'm a service in a way as well. Yeah. It's like, just you, you see where you can help or do something or, or I don't know. It's getting out of your own way as well, in a in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really mm -hmm. cool, really cool. Yeah, super inspiring, Leah. That's really awesome. Does it feel like a good place to yes mm -hmm. stop? So, thanks, guys, for listening in uh, today. We hope you enjoy this time for you and that you take away something for yourself, whether you're a coach or a mentor, or you are just a, a, a person in another area of life, a, a lawyer, a, a truck driver, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, there's uh, it's something in there for everybody, I think. And don't forget to follow and uh, tell a friend if you like this conversation, you want to share it with someone else. And Leah, another thing that I wanted to let people know is like underneath all of these podcast episodes, if you go, um, especially onto our main website, which I'm going to get a domain mm. for soon, mm -hmm. Leah, I, yeah, put, cool. I, I forgot to do that. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, we always uh, put a link to the My Secret Life interviews. Um, the address for that is www.mysecretlife-interviews.com. And why we're pointing you there is like, if you want to even dive deeper into this understanding of the three principles, there are 21 amazing interviews. Actually, there's another eight bonus interviews in there as well, where you can just kind of binge watch uh, cool stories about people's lives and, you know, get a calmer, deeper, more loving feeling as you watch. And yeah, learn more about these principles that we're always talking about as well. So I wanted to say that also mm. in a couple of podcast episodes from here. So. We mentioned that quite a bit. Yeah. Bye. Thank Bye, you. guys. <laughs>